Former Finance Minister Lim Guan Eng pleaded not guilty to the graft charge made against him related to an alleged agreement for the Bagan MP to receive future gratification from the developer of the 6.3 billion ringgit Penang undersea tunnel project. He is charged with one count of bribery for allegedly arranging the receipt of 10% of future profits of the project as gratification from Datuk Zarul Ahmad Muhammad Zulkifli, currently senior ED of Consortium Zenith Construction. Lim was represented by lawyers Gobin Singh Deo and Ramkapa Singh, who are also DAP MPs. Gobin pointed out that there is no quantum stated in the charge sheet preferred against his client and that there is no basis to the charge and that they will fight it to the very end to prove Lim's innocence. Gobin also highlighted that the charge relates to an incident that allegedly took place nine years ago and that the MACC had investigated before but had never taken the matter up. Lim said the charge is politically motivated, intended to tarnish Pakatan Harapan's reputation and emphasise that the coalition is serious in its fight against corruption. If found guilty, Lim will face a jail term of no more than 20 years and a fine of no less than five times the amount or value of gratification or 10,000 ringgit, whichever is higher. Trading volume on Bursa Malaysia continues to break records, topping 20 billion securities for the first time ever, resulting in a number of counters hitting limit up. At 5pm, trade volume ended at 26.65 billion securities worth 9.05 billion ringgit. The FBM KLCI closed down 10.43 points or 0.66% at 1,578.14 as market breadth remained marginally negative. Topping the most active list was Borneo Oil, which saw heavy Heavy trading with 2.7 billion shares changing hands before closing 2.5 cent or 50% up at 7.5 cent. The counter was buoyed by its announcement that it found gold deposits in Pahang, although the commercial viability of mining the precious metal is still unknown. Tun Dr. Made Mohamad has hinted at forming a new political party as Parti Pribumi Bersatu Malaysia has been hijacked by its president, the current Prime Minister. He says the new party will not be tied to any coalitions such as Pakatan Harapan or Perikatan Nasional. Made, a Bersatu co-founder, says the party has deviated from its course from fighting against and dismantling the kleptocratic government to now collaborating with and reviving it. According to the Langkawi MP, the new party will champion the struggles of the Malays and Bumi, citing existing parties with similar causes having failed in their purpose due to those who are power hungry. Made says the new party will enable members of the Basatu faction loyal to the party's original struggle to participate in the 15th general election. Saim Dabi Plantation has rebutted allegations made by human rights group Liberty Shared concerning bribery, wage theft and money laundering. LS pointed out that the incidents of theft and laundering happen when STP's workers hold their accounts at the same bank. In a statement, STP said these issues were not mentioned in LS's earlier petition summary report to which it had clarified its position and current practices. STP says it views the statement with serious concerns as it is insinuating the possibility that a Malaysian banking institution is colluding with the plantation company. STB insists the remarks must be substantiated with strong and clear evidence, adding that it has no means to investigate these issues thoroughly without details. The plantation group says that the Malaysian Department of Labour had also been conducting regular inspection on the wages paid and would have taken prompt action if any irregularities concerning wages had been found. Unemployment for June declined month-on-month to 4.9% from a record high of 5.3% in May as more sectors, including the services industry, reopened during the recovery movement control order. Chief Statistician Datuk Sri Dr. Mohamed Uzir Madin says the improvement was in line with the reopening of more sectors, including education, social and religious activities. According to the Statistics Department, during the month, the number of employed persons grew marginally by 0.7% month-on-month from a contraction of 0.3% in May to record 14.99 million persons. In particular, the services sector observed its first month-on-month positive growth since January 2020. The department said the country's labour force in June increased by 49,500 persons from the preceding month.